Hello everyone. I wanted to show you a little bit about the FactSet database that you should have access to uh, if you're enrolled in the course. I've assumed that here you've got your FactSet ID, you've got your uh, password that FactSet has sent to your university email and you've managed to log in. So we come up with kind of this basic uh, start page. If we wanted to go to a particular company, what we're going to do, we're going to click on company and security. So I'm going to click on company and security. If I've previously searched for a company, then that's going to come up. If I wanted to put a new company in, I'll go in on the top left. And in this case, I'll go J B H. And I'm going to click on the JB Hi-Fi that comes up. So a couple of things that we can see here. If I click up onto the top, I get an overview of the company. So this will give me a brief snapshot of uh, a business description, some key industry metrics, um, again, some key statistics. Again, the little arrow key that you can see here allows you to download any of these corporate information, uh, recent performance, some, uh, some more research. So this is just an overall summary of what's going on in the firm. What you're probably going to be interested in is down below, we can see uh, the in the financials. Let's look at key items. So key items, we've got a couple of ratios here. And um, so these are key ratios that you might be interested in. So some profitability ratios, uh, a DuPont type analysis, some liquidity ratios and so on. I'll go a bit further down, I'll click on, click on income statement. We've got the income statement here. A couple of things worth noting. First is that you can see that the left hand column here is the most recent half yearly results. So this is the first half of financial year 23. Then I've got June 22, June 21. So I've got the data going in time left to right. Sorry, left right to left. What I want is left to right. The way I can reverse the column order here, rather than having to do this in sort of a fiddly manner in Excel, up the top there's like a little ninja star symbol here. I click on that and you'll see that's reversed the order. Again, be careful, this is the half yearly results in the far right hand column. I can select whether I want a half year, uh, a full year. I can select whether I want five years, 10 years, 20 years, the complete history and so on. Other things that are worth noting, the fact set analyst in the same way that the Morningstar data analysis analyst will often standardize these sorts of financial reports so that they can make it comparisons easy among companies. Or if you click on the as reported, that will give you the formatting that the company itself uses. So sales, cost of sales, gross profit. Uh, and rather than here we've got under the standardized sales, cost of goods sold, gross income, SG&A, and so on. One of the things that you can do, regardless of whether you use standardized or the as reported, if you click on any of these numbers here, it'll actually take you to the source document. So here it says revenue 9.2 billion. When I click on that, that's going to take me to the Appendix 4E form that's been lodged by JB Hi-Fi and it shows you exactly where that 9.3, 9.2 billion dollars worth of revenue figure has come from. Further down, if, uh, if I'm having a look, I can go down and look, if I click on Estimates, Estimates is going to give me a summary of what the security analysts that follow JB Hi-Fi are forecasting. So you can see that the average rating as a hold, the target price, so this is the if everything goes well, what could happen in 12 months price. So it tells me that 17 analysts are following JB Hi-Fi. What we've got in this first column, well, first set of uh, information is the earnings per share that the analysts are forecasting for JB Hi-Fi. So $4.50 in the coming year, then $3.48, $3.54, $3.55. And we're breaking it down. Sales by JB Hi-Fi, Australia, New Zealand, and the good guys. And earnings before interest and tax for, for those. And then we've got kind of some more detailed income statement forecasts from the analysts that provide that. We can then go look and look again, we've got here a summary of what the analysts are forecasting. 
Uh, we can see how the EPS consensus trend is evolving over time. Uh, if I look down and looking at the guidance history, this tells me about whether JB Hi-Fi is tending to exceed or not exceed guidance that it gives. Some firms provide regular guidance in terms of their expected earnings, others don't. That's something that we'll be discussing in our uh, disclosure class. Uh, if I now look on the uh, surprise history, yellow, sorry, green means the JB Hi-Fi is surprising on the upside. And so surprising here is providing an, an actual earnings number that's higher than the forecast. And red is surprising on the downside. Um, and we can click further down on target and ratings. And this will tell us um, the some analysts are providing a sell, some a hold, some a sell, some a buy, some a hold, some a sell. So in short, the analysts don't know what's going on with JB HiFi is what we learned from that. Um, a bunch of other things that we can look at. We've got um, ESG as a recent introduction in, in the fact set. We've got capital structure and some information on supply chain and so on. Um, uh, we'll be talking later on about credit analysis in, in the final week in the course. So a bunch of information that we've got here in FactSet. What I'll do in a subsequent video is show you how you can do some broader searches, not just of one company, but, but of uh, a number of companies at one point in time, um, uh, or even number of companies over time. But that's a brief introduction to the FactSet database, how you can get information. Um, oh, I did, did mention, I hope I did mention, that if you wanted to get those financial statement data, again, you use a little download. So I've got a little download button over on the, you can't see that unless I clear myself. Here's a little download button over here. You can click on that. Um, I want you know, format in Excel, like an Excel or PDF. I can get it in a new workbook, so this allows you to use a new workbook or add to an existing workbook if you're doing that. And depending on how you want to use this data, you're probably just going to want to use um, the values rather than the codes that you've used for some sort of searching optionality. So brief introduction to Faxit there. As I said, an accompanying video will show you how to do some more industry-based searching um, and some time series searching, similar to what you've seen in the data analysis video.